We have a problem. Something may be wrong in regular one. We've been ordered to investigate. If memory serves, regular one is a scientific research laboratory. I told Starfleet Command all we had was a boatload of children. But we're the only ship in the quadrant. Spock, these cadets of yours, how good are they? How will they respond under real pressure? As with all living things, each according to his gifts. Of course, the ship is yours. No, that won't be necessary. Just get me to regular one. As a teacher on a training mission, I am content to command the Enterprise. If we are to go on actual duty, it is clear that the senior officer on board must assume command. It may be nothing. Garbled communications. You take the ship. Jim, you proceed from a false assumption. I am a Vulcan. I have no ego to bruise. You're about to remind me that logic alone dictates your actions? I would not remind you of that which you know so well. If I may be so bold, it was a mistake for you to accept promotion. Commanding a starship is your first best destiny. Anything else is a waste of material. I would not presume to debate you. That is wise. In any case, were I to invoke logic, Logic clearly dictates that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. Or the one. You are my superior officer. You are also my friend. I have been and always shall be yours. Stop energizers. Stop energizers. Put down speakers. An emergency situation has arisen. By order of Starfleet Command, as of now, 1,800 hours. I'm assuming command of this vessel. Duty officers so note in the ship's log. Plot a new course for Space Laboratory Regular One. Engine room. Mr. Scott. Aye, sir. We'll be going to warp speed. Aye, sir. Course plotted for Regular One, Ed. Engage warp engines. Prepare for warp speed. Ready, sir. I know that none of you were expecting this. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to grow up a little bit sooner than you expect. Or five so. So much for the little trading cruise.